Well hello, uh, welcome to another video. Um, this is uh, another unboxing. As promised, I mentioned in the, in the last unboxing video that I got this uh, box of 1960s Corgi cars to unbox and I, I've sort of saved it. Looking forward to seeing what's in here because I honestly can't remember. Um, I don't even know how many cars are in here. I think it's, it's quite a lot. So that's going to be good fun to unbox. But as well as that, this has turned up as well. Um, this one here is uh, not from eBay. I was watching someone else's diecast channel. I think a guy, I think the channel is called Meeps Restorations, and he mentioned on there that he'd had um, found a, a bargain job lot on a website called Vinted, because Vinted deals mostly with um, second-hand clothes. It's mostly aimed at clothing and clothing and that kind of stuff. But uh, apparently there are die-cast models on, for sale on there as well, but it's nowhere near as big as eBay. But I had a little look. I found I typed in Dinky in the search box. I found a, jo a lot, lot of, a little job lot of Dinky toys. It was priced at twelve quid, which is a good bargain, good bargain price. But I just thought, no, it's a bargain for someone else. I don't need it. I don't need those models. I'll leave it. And then uh, checked my emails the next day, and the seller had sent me an offer of eight pounds. And I thought, well, for eight pounds, I'm going to have to do that. I can't, I can't not buy those for eight for that price, eight pounds plus postage. So we'll see what's in this one. Uh, this is a job lot from Vinted, so it'll be interesting to see what's in there. It's Dinky toys. It's all old Dinky toys. So we'll open these two. Before we do, I just wanted to show you my Monteverdi because uh, if you saw my, uh, I, I had, did a video about projects and I featured a Dinky Harrier. And this Dinky Monteverdi that I was working on, I had another one for spares. So uh, the one I had originally had bent axles. Um, I got one for spares which had, had windows that weren't broken. The first one had cracked windscreen. This, uh, so basically, I'm waffling. I just combined the, the bits from the two models and made a good one. So um, it's got all four jeweled headlights. The wheels and axles are fairly straight. Uh, it's got all four tyres, which I got off the donor vehicle. There it is. It just unscrews, so it's really easy to do. And the, the uh, wheel arches were heavily chipped up. There's a lot of paint chipping on the wheel arches in certain places. I haven't repainted it. What I've done is I've um, just gone over the uh, wheel arches with, uh, actually, with a, I'll be honest, it's a red marker pen. <laughs> a red permanent pen. And it's filled it in quite nicely, so it actually looks quite good. It looks very presentable now. I haven't repainted it because this is the second one I got for spares and the body shell on this one is better than the original one I had. So I've left the paint, I've left a lot of the marks like around the edge of the roof. I've left it as it was because, um, you know, I, I like I like the play worn look to a degree, to a point. So it's at the point I quite like it now. The badly chipped wheel arches are all, fit, are all um, uh, look, they've got some colour on them again now. So yeah, it looks nice. So, and it's got the, door tops on the doors as well as it should have so yeah I just thought I'd, in, I'd include this in this in this video just in case you watched the video I did about my um, dinky harrier and this model I was working on and wondered how things were going I don't suppose anyone really cares about how they, that, how that went but uh, there we are a nice presentable model very happy uh, uh, so that's that's a nice one for the collection so I'll put that out of the way and we'll get on with some get on with unboxing this stuff Without any further ado, no more waffling, no more chit chat. Let's just get on with it and see what's in these boxes. I think, I think I'm going to do this vintage one first. We'll do the vintage one first, and we'll see. Hopefully, it doesn't have to be two videos, but if it does, it will be two videos. But we'll see how we go. Right, we've got the vintage box open, so we'll see what's in here. Dinky toys. Uh, it should be. Um, so. We'll see what we got for our eight pounds plus postage. We'll get rid of the packaging. I think they're individually taped up. Well, let's have a look at this one first. You can see what that is, can't you? If you know your dinky toys, very obvious. But we'll, uh, I'll get the packaging off it. Hang on a second. Or maybe I can. Or maybe I can actually. Maybe I can squeeze it out of the back. Let's squeeze it out the back. <laughs> yeah, got it out. Right. So I didn't know the pictures weren't really good. I couldn't see how good they were. This is, this is the Dinky Toys NSU RO80. 
Uh, looks like it's got a crack in the windscreen and it's missing the headlights, is it missing the headlights? Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. It's got a battery compartment, NSU RO80. It unscrews as well. Maybe you can get the headlights as spare parts. I was going to place an order with Steve Flowers for some model parts I needed today, but I, I held off. I thought, well, I might need some parts from that other box. So, so some, I might need to buy some, buy some more parts to restore these. So, uh, yeah, Dinky Toys NSU RO80. It's got working headlights, but the headlight unit is missing. Cracked windscreen. It's not bad though, is it? It's just slightly chipped. It's got suspension as well, I believe. Yeah, suspension. I had one of these before. Um, but it's a nice model, the same. I think the rear lights work as well. Um, yeah, is that another crack in the window? No, it's just yeah, crack, little tiny cracks in the windows, but it still displays all right. It's a shame about the missing headlights, but yeah, a display piece. It's very good. It's got some sort of sticker on the back wind, on the back thing. I don't know what that is, but anyway, that's nice. Yeah, nice model. I'll put that one down there first. A nice metallic red, dinky light metallic red. Uh, a lot of dinky toys seem to come in this metallic red colour. But uh, yeah, I'll we'll see what else we've got. Let's have a look. See, I think I'm going to have to get this um, tape off these packages. Hang on a second. Right. I think I've got this one here. Yeah, that's, that's not taped up. We can get that out. Yeah, so this is a dinky Mercedes. I've had one of these before. I don't like it. I'll be honest, I don't like this model. And the reason it's got stereo wheels and all that and it's got suspension, it just looks wrong. I mean the proportions look wrong to me. I mean it's missing, it's, it's got broken headlights and all that. It's got crack in the glass, much like the other one. Very heavily play worn, very chipped up paintwork. Rear lights are there. I think the lights work on this as well. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like this model. It's not I don't it's, this is not one of Dinky's best work best ones to be honest. It's Mercedes 250SE number 160. Yeah, the wheels are straight and everything. So slight cracks in the windows, but there, yeah, little cracks in the windows. It's not bad. It's all right, but uh, it doesn't look like a Mercedes. It looks wrong. It looks to me like a Vauxhall, a Vauxhall Viva or something. It doesn't look like a Mercedes. Um, yeah, I mean the front isn't too bad. It's missing a headlights and the back. Yeah, it, it's not quite right. The proportions are wrong. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like, but it doesn't have the proportion. It, the, these Mercedes saloons have a very, very distinctive lines and very nice sort of, nice defined, elegant shape. Uh, no, ele elegant body lines. You know, they look really stylish. Whereas this doesn't have that look at all. It's just, it looks like a Vauxhall or something. It looks awful. So yeah, I'm not not a fan of that one. But yeah, it's all right. Is what it is, isn't it? So that's that one. Uh, is what it is. What a stupid sound that is. <laughs> right, let's get this one out. There we are. Have a look. Dinky D U K W, I believe. Also known as the duck. Uh, it's got the whiz wheel thingies in it, but it's a GMC. I, believe. I think it is. I think it's a GMC. Yeah, it's got the. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Actually, that's all, it's all right. Have a look at the underside. Dinky D U K W amphibian. Dinky toys made in England. As it, I don't think they modelled a little propeller at the back. It should have had a, it should have a propeller at the back as well, but that's not modelled on it. But uh, never had one of these before. But uh, yeah, that's quite nice. It's got the star on the bonnet on the front. Yeah, I remember these because I wasn't around in World War Two. I'm not that old, obviously, but I remember these uh, amphibious vehicles because I used to, we used to go to Hunstanton um, in Lincolnshire, Hunstanton Beach as kids. Uh, me and the family, mum and dad, used to take take us to Hunstanton Beach, and uh, that's like on the wash in Lincolnshire. It's a bit of an estuary, so they used to do these rides. You could get a ride on a, one of these um, amphibious vehicles. Uh, they used to drive them from the beach out into the sea and then back onto the beach again and they were quite cool. 
very cool to go on and very much fun to watch them going out to sea and coming back onto the beach as well because they just drive up the sand, you know, so very cool. Yeah, nice, that's actually quite nice. I've never had that one before, it's a good one. I'm not really big into military vehicles, but I believe Dinky made an earlier version of this as well, I think. But anyway, that's quite cool, like that. <coughs> right, on to the next one. Right, here's the next one. I've un just un done a bit of it. I wonder what's in there. Let's think. Let's see. What can, what could it possibly be? No big mystery, is it? It's a big old thing. This turns up in job lots an awful lot. I mean, it's a really nice model, if it's a good one. But these turn up an awful lot. They must have made loads of these. And they're usually shot. Oh, come on, get out of the packet. Get out. Anything. Let's have a look at it. It's the old... Mercury Marquis fire engine. No, not Mercury, Merryweather. With the AEC Ergo cab on it. Missing a ladder, as they always are. It's got the door though. Um, it's paint chipped. The back part's there, the little hose is there. It's fairly complete actually, I think. Yeah, I've seen worse, it's alright. It's a big hefty model though, it weighs a lot. Yeah, but we've all seen, well I don't know, if you watch my videos you'll have seen this one before. I think it, that, uh, the little yellow thing on the, yellow, I can't tell the difference. It's red isn't it? I'm talk, I talk rubbish sometimes, but anyway. Yeah, the, the, the little red thing on the top I think, yeah that's the locker that opens, that's all there. Um, yeah, you put water in that thing on the right hand side, the right hand one, and on the left you've got that little button there, and that's supposed to spray water out the back if it works. I don't know, I'm not going to try it, because I don't care, but uh, yeah, it's alright, but I think they made loads and loads of these, these really are very common. Anyway, so that's that one. Um, that's what we've got so far. Let's get this one open, well nearly there actually, there wasn't a lot, it's not a massive amount, but still. This is something I did, I thought I would, this is a model that got my interest. So I say, I'm not inter interested really in military vehicles particularly, but this looked very cool. I did like the look of this and I thought, yeah, for £8 for the job lot, I'll get it for that. Look, it's got a little soldier in it, a little army driver. <laughs> if I can get the light right. Uh, can we see him? There he is. He's holding an invisible steering wheel. Whether there's meant to be a steering wheel in there or not, I don't know. Possibly there is, I don't know. But There's the driver. This is interesting, isn't it? Uh, hmm. I don't know what this is, but it's very cool. Six-wheel army truck. Have a look at the base plate in a minute. I'm just looking at everything else. It's like it's got... Are those meant to be... Um, Hang on. Let's have a It's got a little hatch on the roof. Those look like shells for a gun or something on the back there. That's pretty cool. It needs needs a good clean. It's got a tow hook on it. Needs cleaning up. There's tow hooks there. I don't know if it would have had a canopy on the back, like a tilt or something, but... What does it say on the base plate? Because this is very cool and I'm very pleased with this. It is Dinky Super Toys. It's an old one. Um... Medium artillery tractor, and the wheels are straight as well. Looks like the wheels are straight anyway. Yeah, I think they are. Straight axles, got all its tyres. It's a bit chip, but man, that's got some. That's really nice. I do like that. That needs a clean. That's what it needs. I could repaint it, but I'm not going to bother. Because you lose the age, you lose the patina. It's got a transfer on that front corner as well. Yeah, or is it a transfer? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. That's really nice, so we'll put that down there. That is a haul so far. That is a nice truck, I really like that. Yeah, I saw that, that got my interest really, because I wasn't too bothered about the Mercedes I don't really like, wasn't too bothered about the rest of it, but yeah, that truck is a nice one. I like it, I like it very much. Very nice. Um, 
Okay, so it's the last one, just hang on a second. Okay, let's have a look at this one. The last one in this box. Get it out, fish it out, fish it out, fish it out. It is. Now I couldn't work out the, the body was separate. I think the body comes off this. I don't know if this body is original to this one or not. I don't know much about these old dinkies. Um, it's resting on, yeah, I, th I guess that, that does loosely just fitting on there. It's not fitting on there properly, but have a look at that later. But it's a dinky Foden. These used to be really, really expensive uh, years ago. But now they're, um, let's have a look at the body. Oh, it's a tin body. I see someone's repainted that. I guess that is original. It's been repainted and had new transfers put on it. But yeah, I guess that is the original body shell. Um, tanker body that goes on it but yeah it's been repainted and had new transfers on it it looks alright, it's not bad is it could be worse, nice to have and here's the base unit yeah that does go on there you can see the slots to fit the bits of tin into it so yeah the dinky Foden uh, yeah very nice these, are, these models are well, I don't remember these trucks being on the road. Obviously, it's well before my time, but they're, they're, I can see the appeal because they're vintage vehicles. They're really nice, and uh, this is a classic old dinky toy. It's really nice, and it's got. I can put the back on it again; it would look all right. So, yeah, it looks like the, the sometimes the cabs get bent backwards. That looks like it's fairly straight. Got its tyres. Dinky Super Toys Foden. So that's very good. There we go. I said it again, my catchphrase. Oh, if, I don't know. I have. I don't know if I've said that in this video yet, but I'm trying to stop saying that. So, so there we. Yeah, I nearly just said it again. So that's that's what we've got in our box uh, from Vinted. I don't. I'm very happy with that. It's really nice, actually. That's really. I mean, it's got lots of appeal. I'm not repainting that. Look at the charm. It's got. It's got age to it. It's really nice. Cool. Very cool. Um, I must admit though I prefer the army truck that's my favourite that's really nice so that's what we got for £8 uh, if I push that over there a little bit so some proper dinky toys there um, I'll see if I can fit that and I'll come back so I've found why this uh, body won't go on because it's got little tags on the bottom little um, tabs on the bottom of the tin plate tank and you've got these slots along the bodywork with holes that go right through but these front two ones don't go right through you can see underneath it these holes for the little tags that hold the body on they go right through there but at the front they don't those front ones don't go all the way through so that's why that's not actually mounting on there so um I'll just show you so yeah that's why that's why it's fitting It's fitting in at the back, but not at the front. It's standing proud because those tags don't go, the little tabs can't go all the way through. And the, the transfers are pretty awful actually, aren't they? I mean, I suppose that needs redoing that tanker, but I don't care to be honest. But yeah, I'm not sure quite why that doesn't fit all the way in, but because uh, those looks like those um, holes for the tags, like the rest of the, or the, rest of the, the ones on the chassis go right through the bodywork, but that doesn't. So the holes don't go all the way through. So that's why it's not fitting, but anyway that's that uh, we got quite a good um, selection there for our eight pounds plus postage I think um, yeah two cars an amphibious vehicle and two very cool old trucks and another one of those fire engines so yeah I think for eight pounds plus postage that was a good bargain very good deal but having said that I don't think I'm going to get onto Vinted again because uh, even though it was a bargain uh, I need to try and stop doing this buying all this stuff so um, even though it's good fun yeah, so eBay's <laughs> eBay's enough. So I, I'm gonna clear, I think I shall still clear of Vinted. I don't want to start getting into buying from other platforms as well. So, okay, so this is the box of uh, 1960s Corgi toys that I bought. Uh, a job lot that I paid a bit more for than I normally would for a job lot because you know normally I go up to a certain level with the price, but I paid a bit more for this because 
there's quite a few cars in here and uh, it did look like it was worth it so we'll find out and see if it was worth it or not let's uh, open it and have a look I've been waiting to open this for a while so I'm looking forward to seeing what's in it it did look quite good in the pictures but until you actually open the box you don't really know so let's see what let's find out what's in it let's get it open and see what there is okay then so we've got into the box well we haven't well I've got the packaging off it it was wrapped in a big plastic bin liner that black plastic bag so that took some doing to get it off but we're down to the box now so let's open it up and see what's in it let's have a look here we go can I get through that through this video without saying there we go close your bits now right first oh this is good because it's not all taped up individually so this will be easy to get out oh good this is going to be this should go well Okay, first one out of the box we have got is a Corgi Toys Citroen DS Safari, or is it called in it DS Brake? Citroen Safari, yeah, that's it. And it's got a little wheel at the bottom. I'm going to try and keep this fairly brief if I can, because let's see if we can do this. Any operating features, try and do them on the camera. Oh, you can see it, you can see it. Have a look. You can just see the... How do I get the light? Can you see the back seat moving up and down? No, not really. Maybe you can, yeah. That's a little wheel that oper operates the back seat, so the back seat goes up and down, and you've got this back door that opens. Uh, trying to demonstrate opening operating features with one hand is not easy, but anyway, the tailgate drops down as well and goes back up, and it's a cool, very cool model, very nice. CD it says, it's AGB on the back as well, I don't know. Those are the aftermarket stickers you could get in the day. Back in the day, as they say. Not sure which version it is, but it's in yellow anyway. It's got two people in it, look, as well. Can we see them? Not in that light, we can't. Uh, there we go. There, there we Shut up. Do you know what, it annoys me so much. I hear myself saying that. Oh, I don't know. Don't know why I say that all the time. Where I picked that up from, I don't know. So yes, there's the two passengers in the in the car. So that's that one. Two passengers in it. Right. Let's see what else we've got. Maybe it doesn't bother other people. Maybe it doesn't bother pe people watching the videos back. Me saying there we go, but it bothers me. That's why. It's, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to stop saying it. Rustling of paper. This is nice. This is the. Uh, Let's see if I can remember what it's called. Is it a Dodge something? It's a Dodge, isn't it? No, it's not. got that wrong. Plymouth Sports Suburban. <laughs> oh, well. But it's the US mail version. What does that say? Address your mail carefully. US mail. I don't know if the US mail service ever did use these. As far as I know, they used to use Jeeps for delivering the post. And more recently, little um, little vans... I don't pretend to know anything about what make of vehicles they use particularly, but I know they used to use Jeeps for delivering the post. But it's a nice colour scheme, isn't it? Red, white and blue. Or white and blue with a red stripe. That is very nice. So that's a good one. Nice styling. Very nice model. That's a good one, that is. And it seems like the glass is good and the tyres are there and the wheels are straight and it's just a bit chipped, isn't it? Nothing wrong with that one. That's the tally so far. Let's see how many cars. Because I was trying to, I was looking at the pictures on the listing, and I was trying to work out how many cars were in here, and I couldn't. I kept losing count. I couldn't even count. Stop rustling the paper. I couldn't even count how many vehicles were in here. So rustling of paper. Yeah, that's that's a bit annoying. Ah, uh, the rustling of paper is a bit annoying. That's an annoying noise, isn't it? Well, here's one I never had before. Yeah, apologies for rustling paper. If you don't like that noise, I do apologise. But I just like to just get this stuff out as we go. Call your toy standard Vanguard. Is it a mechanical version? They made a mechanical version with a friction motor. I don't. No, that's not this one. It's got free wheeling. So I think it's meant to be an RAF car. That's what that logo is on the front. Original paint, very heavily chipped up, very heavily play worn. Nice model, not a car really. 
I've seen the real version, real car, but yeah, it's not one of my favourite cars, but it's alright, it's a nice little model. I don't quite like, I don't really like those flat, early flat hubs either, the flat hubs look a bit personal choice, but it's not my favourite, the flat hubs, but there we go. Uh, i said it again, never mind, right, hang on a minute, I'm going to pause the video. Right, I'll be honest, I've just um, got some of this stuff a little bit loosed out the paper to reduce the rustling because the rustling noise is jolly annoying and no one likes that and it's another one can I remember what it was called I just got one out it's the same as the US mail version but well the same casting but a different colour scheme obviously uh, very heavily chipped up unfortunately I like the play worn look but that's bordering on a bit too I don't know probably could do with a repaint really that's a bit too chipped up well, I, I don't know. Still got some charm to it. It's nice. It is nice. It might, I don't know if it's a rare variation or not, but it's nice. It looks quite good in that colour. But, yeah. It's heavily chipped up, but the glass is all good. Very nice. And it is the Plymouth, Sport, <coughs> the Plymouth Sports Suburban. Yes. And I had forgotten what it was called. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. Apologies for rustling paper. This is a Chevrolet Impala with the flat hubs. Uh, slightly chipped, a little tax disc someone stuck in it. This is the earlier version, it's got a slight dink in the uh, chassis there. Earlier version with the um, one piece body shell. They made a later version which was in two pieces with a chrome insert in between the, the top half and the bottom half. Yeah, some, someone's gone a bit potty with the stickers there, <laughs> a lot of stickers on that door, but yeah, it's nice. The old flat top Chevy with the early flat hubs. So we're not going to spend too much time on each vehicle because there's a lot in here. So let's get on with the next one. I'll get out if I can reduce the rustling paper. What we got here? I've got another one. <laughs> another standard Vanguard. Is this the mechanical version? No, it's not. It's free winning. There you go. I'll uh, oh, shut it again. Shut up. <laughs> Annoying myself, it's got the RAF sticker on it and some other stickers that maybe may or may not should maybe should be there, maybe not, I don't know. Original paintwork again I think. Oh or is it original paintwork? Yeah I think it is. It's original paint. It's not so chipped up as the last one. The roof's a bit better. So that's that one there. Yeah. Standard Vanguard corgi toys. Let's push it over there and put those two together. Okay, next one. Next one out. It's another Impala. And it's again the single piece body shell without the chrome insert. Early version with the flat hubs as well. State Patrol. Doesn't come with a roof light. Would have had an aerial, but that's missing. That's not a look at the rear styling. I like these old impalas. Looks like the suspension might be gone at the back, I don't know. Hard to tell, not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's sitting a bit low, but hey, it's a low rider. <laughs> low rider suspension, that's nice though, isn't it? Very cool, I like that one. So that can go with that one. Uh, hang on a second. So that's the first layer done. That's what we got in the first layer. Here's the second layer. So let's have a look. Sorry about rustling paper. I'm gonna get something out. What have we got? An E-Type Jag looks like it. Corgi Toys E-Type Jag. Chrome effect, missing a tire. And the chrome effect has worn away, but having said that, it's got its headlights, it's got the screen intact. Has it got the steering wheel and the dashboard? Well, looks like it has, yeah, it's there. Yeah, chrome finish is a bit weird, missing a tyre, but that's a shame, but uh, not bad. I might have a spare tyre for that, actually. I don't know, the worn chrome look, oh, this looks a bit... It's different, isn't it? The fact it's got the windscreen intact is pretty good, so that's that one. 
I've still got the two uh, army vehicles there from the previous unboxing. I might move those. Right, let's see what else we've got in here. Another Impala. This is the later casting with a two-piece body shell and a chrome insert. So the rear lights don't look so good on that one, but um, slightly chipped. Glass is good, needs a clean up, very dusty. It is, yeah, the chrome front. Corgi Toys, Chevrolet and Parlor, yeah. Let's see if I can do a comparison shot of the two rear ends. Yeah, the rear end of the earlier version is nicer, isn't it? These chrome lights aren't so good, are they? But that's those two anyway. That's uh, what is that? Three Impalas. Nice. I like that colour. Actually, that colour is really nice. I like that one. Okay, moving on. We've got another Impala. Oh, sh that's a shame. It's got broken windows at the back. The windows are cracked. Cracked rear windows and missing a taxi sign. This is the taxi version. It's the earlier version, though, with the nicer rear lights and the one piece bodywork. It's got the taxi decals on it. That's a shame about the rear windows. So the rest of the glass looks good. The pillars are all straight, that's really, I really like that. Nice. Missing a taxi sign, that's a shame, but yeah, it's a shame it's missing the taxi sign, but yeah, it's got a bit of the aerial left on it. Yeah, it's a shame about the rear window, but still, it is what it is, as they say. Right, so that is what, how many impalas? That's one, two, three, four impalas, and we're not, we're not foreign, we haven't made a start in the box really. Uh, let's fish out something else. Sorry about the rusting, I'm going to try and minimise the rusting. Next thing out is another one of these, uh, Citroen Safari, with the moving seat, which you may or may not be able to see. Yeah, you can see the seat moving there, but anyway, I've demonstrated that before. Yeah, the glass is in the rear hatch of this one, so that's good. Shut that down. Winter Olympics, 1964. Very, very fitting, seeing it's now the 2024 Olympics in France, in Paris. This is from the 64 Olympics, which is before I was born. So, um, yeah, nice model, very cool. Do like that. Let's put that with the other one. Two of those, two of those, and two of those. Two citrons. Right. The next one we're going to get out. I should get rid of some of this paper actually. I've got the next one I'm going to get out. This is a later Corgi. This is a Whiz Wheels, but it's the Rolls Royce. Silver Shadow. Marina Park Ward. Very nice, very nice. Paintwork looks good. I've got the Bentley version in pink, but I've not got the Rolls Royce version. Jeweled headlights. Windows are intact, or they're slightly yellowed. That is a very nice car. Uh, let's put it down a minute so we can have a look at it properly. Let's move the old Jaggy type over there out of the way. Wow, look at this. Opening boot lid, yes, very nice. Opening doors. And has it got the interior sticker? There's a sticker in the dashboard. It's got the seat backs in there, I believe. And a door card, which is part of the window unit on the doors. The suspension test all good. Have a look in the side. Dusty, but it's there. And can we open the bonnet lastly? That's a nice model, I like that one. Engine detail, very cool. Yes, we like that. That's a very nice old roller. Silver and blue two-tone. 
not very not very chipped at all. Well, it's it's pretty good, isn't it? Let's face it. I mean, it's I don't like using the word mint, but yeah, it's, it needs a clean. It's a bit dirty, but yeah, it's not bad though. It's not bad at all. Right, so let's see what else we've got now. What's what's the next one? Okay, on we go. This is a uh, next thing out of the box. Is this a London taxi? Someone's had fun with some permanent marker pens on that. The Austin FX4, the early version. It's got suspension and that. I think it's got suspension, yeah. Uh, yeah, the rear detail is a bit odd. It doesn't look much like the real cab, but I don't suppose for most people that bought this they wouldn't have noticed. But I'm a bit of a pedant about these. I sort of know, the, know these FX4 designs in fairly well because I had two of them. I've had two of the real cabs, so... There's a little cabbie in there with his little hat on. A bit of white paint on the door pillar. It's got the orange taxi light. It's got these little these little lumps on the court on the edges of the wind of the roof. Those were actually indicators. Known as teddy bear indicators. Um, only the very early London taxis had those. And then eventually they had the rear lights from the Morris 1100. Um, replaced these little pointy lights. But uh, yeah. So a number plate someone's put on it. And I think that red paint on the rear lights is not original. Someone's done that because the rear lights don't look like that on the early ones. It's the top corner part is the only little bit of light. Well, the lights are just that little tiny bit at the top. Anyway, that's too much. No one cares. No one's really that interested, are they? <laughs> don't get me start start me talking about FX4 London taxis. I could talk, I could bore the pants off anybody about that, so bit of an anorak about London taxis. This is the, um, what is it? It's the gear. I've had this in blue. I've got one that I scrapped for my scrapyard in blue, but this is a very nice one. I still don't like it. It's still an ugly car. And it's, only, it's a model, it's very cho odd choice for a model because they modeled this car and I think they only made about two or three of the real ones. In real life, there was only two or three of them actually made. It's made by Gear, I think, what it was. It's got, the cool thing about this, it's got a little corgi dog on the back shelf. There he is. The one I scrapped, I pulled the dog off the back shelf. I've got it as a, him as a separate bit somewhere, so. Can we get a shot of the corgi dog in the back shelf? There he is. I want to look at my thumbs. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, so that's that one. It's got some good opening, fe good features on it. Everything opens. The bonnet opens, I believe, as well. Yeah, it does, but I'm not going to waste any time on that. Gear L 6.4. Yeah, I've not seen it in gold before. The rear suspension might be gone, I think, but who cares? It doesn't matter, really. Um, put that one down there. That's not my favourite model. It's just ugly, ugly car. I don't, I don't really like it. It's very cool features and stuff, but it's not my favourite a bit of paper out of there we're getting there but there is a lot of models in here what's this one this is a more recent one this is not an old one yeah corgi jaguar e type made in china yeah that's a that's a modern imposter i don't know what that's doing in there yes very nice it's a nice condition everything but it's not an old one is it so yeah that's a bit of an imposter we'll put that over there i think because Compare that to the old old Corgi one. A bit bigger, isn't it? I'll put that out of the way. I'm not really trying to mix that up with the other ones. So let's see what else. That's the, on to the next layer. We'll see what else we've got. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. And we've got all these lovely selection models here. Uh, I couldn't remember how many was in the box. And I thought, oh, there's loads in there. Layer after layer. But if you look at what's in there now, um, I just had a look in there and that's the last... Um, Bit of packaging with models in it the rest of the packaging was just uh, empty packaging so it's just this bundle here the rest of it was, was just uh, padding and filler for the box so got over excited there thinking there was a whole load more and it's just one little box little section here what's in here i don't know we'll have a look let's have a little look okay so Let's get these out of the box. We have got the Corgi Jaguar Mark X, also known as the Jaguar 420G. 
Corky Toys called it the Mark X, but whenever I see this in classic car magazines, the real car, it's always known as the 420G or the 420. So where the Mark, Mark X or Mark 10, I think it might be Mark 10, but where that bit came from, I went, oh, look at that, it's even got the suitcase and the boot. I think that came with it originally. It's got the little suitcase and the boot. How cool is that? I won't get it out because I'm liable to lose it. Wow, that's cool. That's not a reproduction bit either. That looks like it was original to the car. So that's nice. I've got one of these in the scrapyard that was very knackered, very worn, play-worn, heavily play-worn, and I put rust paint on it. It looks good in the scrapyard, but this is not happening. That's not I'm doing that with this. There's the engine. Paint works a bit sun-faded. Sun-faded pink, silver. Huh? But it's nice, though. Mark X Saloon. So there we go, that's that. I just said there we go again, but never mind. Right, that's the, going to go down there. And there's only two more, I think. Yeah, I was thinking... I've got a lot in here, but it's just down to the last three, so that's a bit of a disappointment. I thought it was going to go on for a much longer... Maybe I can combine these two videos. The previous one of the Dinky unboxing, I might combine it with this Corgi Toys unboxing as well. So this might be a separate video or it might be part of the same one. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to look at it when I come to editing it. You will know when you watch it, but uh, at this point in time, I don't know. So let's have a look at this Aston Martin because that is what it is. Can I open the bonnet? Can I heck? <laughs> oh dear. Aston Martin DB4. Got funny wheels, isn't it? It's got like spoked wheels. It's not stickers, and that's actually cast spoke wheels. I don't think I've seen those before. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. It's pre James Bond one because the James Bond one was a DB5, I think, with the roundy head, roundy more more sort of streamlined front fair front uh, headlights. But this is a DB4, so. I guess Corgi just modified this casting to make the James Bond one, but I'll see if I can open the bonnet. Hang on a second. Well, what a twit. I couldn't open the bonnet because I was trying to open it the wrong way. <laughs> I thought it lifted from the back, but it lifts from the front. So there we go. Oh, I've said it again. There we are. Let's see if I can open it a bit more. No, that's as much as it's going to open. So yeah, that's the front of it. It's uh, slightly chipped, but it's very good. The, the glass is good, the bonnet's there. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. That is a nice model. Very cool. I wonder if I've got my finger in the lens. I shall find out when I come to edit it. Apologies if I have. You know what my videos are like. Not top quality. And there's always a bit of crackling. If you hear crackling in the background of me talking, it's my finger slipping on the edge of the camera because it makes a cracking noise. I try and cut, cut it out on the editing process, but sometimes it's just there. Now, a last model here. Last model out of the box is this Lotus. I think it's a Lotus. Have I got that right? Yes, I have. That's amazing. Lotus Mark II Le Mans. Or Le Mans. Wow, that's nice. What a funky little model it's got. It's screens intact. Well, it's a bit doggy, but the screen is there. It's intact. It's got two... I have to touch it to find out. Sorry, I'm trying to look at it. Now it's got, like, plastic headlights in there as well. They look cool. Wow, it's a nice little thing, isn't it? Funky little car. Looks a bit weird. Looks like the Oscar Mayer Wiener, maybe, or from that angle. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. It's obviously based on a real car. What a funny thing. So that side's got a smooth side, and this side has got a little indentation for an exhaust pipe. Nice. I'll have to research the real car on that one. That's a nice one. Put it down here. And that, sadly... It's the end of the box, so I got all excited and the bottom bit was just packaging, padding it out, so that's a shame. But we'll move the box out of the way. Put it down there, all the other stuff. <laughs> the side of unboxing videos you don't see normally, that's all the rubbish that's left afterwards. Uh, right, so let's have a look at what we've got here. 
I suppose we'd better include that because that was part of it as well. That's a modern, that's a modern imposter. So not too keen on that really. It's a very nice model, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be here with the other stuff. So that aside, this is what we've got. And I'm not going to tell you what the price was because I think I don't need to sort of uh, share the divulge the money. I mean, if it's a bargain, it was dirt cheap. Yeah, fair enough. This is what we got for how much money we spent, but. Uh, it was. It wasn't as cheap as it normally normally. I paid a bit more money for it than I normally would do for a job lot. But let's put it this way: it was still a bargain. I still got very much. It's worth more than what I paid. That's for sure. So I'm very very happy. I definitely got a bargain with what I paid. But uh, uh, I don't want to share the price really because I don't know if that's a good idea to go on about money all the time. Um, Anyway, so this is what we've got. We have got, I actually like this one. I think this is one of my favourites. This is one of my favourites when I saw it in the picture in the listing. I know it's a later two piece cast in the rear wheel, rear, wheel, win, rear lights aren't quite so good, but um, is that the one with the worn suspension? No, suspension on that's good. So that's good. That's a, that's a, I just like the colour. It's really nice. It's brown with the white roof. So that's a really nice one. So Chevrolet Impalas, we have one, two, three, four. We've got a blue one, a State Patrol one. Is it State Patrol? State Patrol, yes. Uh, a blue one, a police one, a taxi one, and a, a brown and uh, white one. So that's four Impalas. Two of these RF standard Vanguards. Very nice. Well. Wow. It's not my favourite Corgi model, but you know, it's got some. It certainly has got some appeal. It's very nice to have. So, uh, two of those. That's a nice little model. I just don't like the real car that much. That's all. <laughs> um, and we've got a Jaguar. That's surprising. He's still got his screen intact. Yeah. So the Jaguar. That's nice. Missing a tyre, but as I say, I might have a spare tyre for that one. So that's quite cool. And we've got two of these, what are they called again? Suburban, Plymouth Sports Suburban. Two of those, two uh, Citroen DS's, one of these V8, uh, what is it called? I forget what these are called. I don't like that one very much, it's not my favourite. Gear L64 with Chrysler V8 engine. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, a very nice Aston Martin, a little Lotus racing car, which is very cool. Weird looking thing, but very cool. And we've got a later Whiz Wheels Rolls Royce and a Whiz Wheels Taxi. And um, a Jaguar 420G Mark X, Mark 10, whatever you call it, with a suitcase in the boot. So that is very nice. And that as well. So that's a very nice lot. I'm very happy with that. How many was it? I could. I tried to count when I was bidding on it. When I put a bid on the auction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, it was 18 models, I thought it was. So, four Impalas, two Sports Suburbans, two Citroen DS, two Standard Vanguards, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> That's a nice lot, I'm very happy with that. So, yes, very good. That was a nice job lot, so, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, I shall see you in the next video which I'm not sure entirely what that's going to be but uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Take care. Cheers. Bye for now.